Hello and welcome back to Why Rate Guns. I know it's been a while since we've done a video, but we're back. And today we're going to be having a look at the Breta 687 Silver Pigeon 3 field. So, some of you may remember I did a review of the 687 uh, Silver Pigeon 3 in the sporting configuration. Uh, I'll pop a link in the description below for you to have a look at that one if you'd like. Um, I liked it, I really liked it. Uh, so much, in fact, that I went and bought the field version for myself. Uh, and here it is. Uh, now, I've got to say, when I first bought this I was quite disappointed. I hadn't shot in a while, I took it out and I couldn't hit a single thing. Um, I have changed over the recoil pad to something much thinner uh, and it's absolutely fantastic now uh, and it hits really really well uh, and yeah I'm really happy with it. Um, so a quick thank you to Shooting Sports UK uh, who have been uh, supporting the channel uh, providing a lot of the stuff we review so please go and give them a look. Um, well let's get it on the bench and uh, see what it's about. So this is the field or game version of this gun, uh, sporting version is also available. Uh, in terms of options, you can get this chambered in 12, 20, 28 or 410, all with a choice of 28 or 30 inch barrels. Um, according to the Breton website, this gun is offered in a fixed choke version as well, but I could only find multi-chokes when, uh, when I was looking through the uh, what was for sale currently. The gun we have here today is a 12 gauge in 30 inch. It weighs in at about 3.4 kilos and comes in a standard blue um, plastic carry case. Starting at the back, it's fitted with Breta's standard microcore pad system, uh, which comes in various sizes and you can buy different ones to adjust your length of pull. Uh, in fact, this one isn't standard, so normally they come with, uh, I think it's an 18 mil uh, pad, uh, but this one I've swapped out for a 10mm because it just fits me that little bit better. Uh, pad to wood fit on this one is pretty good. Now the wood on this gun is very typical of Beretta. Uh, this is supposed to be a grade 3, um, maybe just about. It's not the best um, wood on uh, other guns for similar prices, but for Beretta this is normally what you get. It is a bit of a step up from the Beretta uh, Silver Pigeon 1. Uh, and it does have quite a nice uh, semi-gloss finish. The pistol grip is quite open, as you expect from a, from a game gun, and there is no palm swell at all. The checkering is laser etched, uh, and to be honest, could do with being a little bit sharper, but it's not too bad and definitely usable. The safety on this gun is automatic, um, again, as you'd expect from a game gun, but this can be removed if, uh, if needed. The safety also incorporates the barrel selector and it's nice and crisp. The triggers on these are gold and non-adjustable but the trigger is really really nice. Um, no play, nice and crisp, fantastic. Now for the engraving. So this gun uses the same uh, five axis laser engraving is the, the sporter version we looked at before uh, and what it does it creates different depths um, to give it a, a much more um, I don't know traditional look uh, so it's sort of been hand done yeah it's, it's a nice finish on this particular one we've got partridges on the one side and pheasants on the other and then underneath Breta logo 687 sp3 and some more rows and scroll work air. Yeah. Obviously this action is a 680 action, been around long enough, absolutely bomb proof, parts available everywhere. Um, yeah, you really can't go wrong with this type of action. The chambers are three inch. So if you wanted to set this uh, even while failing, 
um, no problem at all. Uh, the barrels are uh, proof of steel and superior proofed as well, so you can put any um, any any sort of three inch loads in this uh, and not have to worry. Projectors on this gun are fairly standard, um, but work, no problem at all there. The fore end on this gun is nicely rounded, uh, feels good in the hand, and to be honest, this is what sort of drew me to it was the uh, was the, the feel of this gun. Uh, definitely feels like the Brettas uh, I was used to sort of 20 plus years ago. Um, just that classic uh, classic feel. It comes with a solid mid rib and a ventilated top rib, which is six mil wide with a single brass bead sight on the end. It comes with five flush fitting uh, Optima Bore HP chokes, uh, which are now fairly standard in all Berettas, but uh, yeah, they work quite well. Okay, let's get back up to the studio and I'll tell you what I think. So, what do I think of it? Uh, I think this is a fantastic gun. It's really good value for money. The engraving on this is really good uh, for the price point. The only thing that lets it down a little bit is the wood. Um, not to say this is a particularly bad example, this is just what we've come to expect from Bretta, just being that little bit lower than the competition. Um, but that said, it does shoot wonderfully. Um, in terms of balance, maybe a little bit, maybe half an inch in front of the hinge pin, but it's pretty good. Um, warranty with this gun, you get one year at the box, uh, and that's extended to three years after you've registered it, and you can extend that to ten years as well um, if you lay down a little bit of money. Um, only issue with this gun is it's a 680 action and these are common and it makes them a little bit boring if I'm honest everyone's got one if you don't own one you know someone who certainly does uh, and because of this you know they're, they're not ever so exciting but what they are is really good value for money and this particular model it would be great uh, for field and for sporting clays as well this would make an ideal first gun um, for someone just starting out who's got a little bit of money to spend or perhaps a decent second gun um, if someone's dipped their toe uh, in the water with something Turkish um, this could be the way to go. Now although I'm really happy with it uh, I'll be honest it's not going to be staying around I've decided that my 694 is sort of a dedicated uh, clay gun uh, and I'll be sticking with that one for that and I've swapped this for a Browning uh, 725 uh, in 20 bore, which is going to be my new game gun. Um, that being said, I have been really happy with it, and I recommend it to anyone. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. That's it.